Often now she's where for ravaged is her hillside with GCP they came to plunder beauty for money. We're all here uh, at the Ega Street trees for this uh, great demonstration of passion and love uh, for the trees in, here in the middle of Hereford and uh, I'm absolutely delighted to add my support for the protection of these uh, beautiful trees, almost all of which are in quite good health uh, and which give a feeling to this part of Edgar Street which is not that of a highway or a motorway but that of a street. Um, and it seems to me really important that one of the things we do is to encourage whatever changes are made to stress that street aspect which naturally calms down traffic and naturally adds to the beauty of the city and naturally gives all of the famous air conditioning effects and the dust removal effects that we know trees have. And if we can pull that kind of um, treatment together of, of the street, if we can make it into that kind of space, then I think it could be really actually a positive outcome from what's been quite a difficult and um, emotion-filled moment for many people in the city. Well, I'm here because I want uh, these trees to survive. Um, I've seen the scheme proposed by the Highways Agency and I've seen their alternative planting scheme. Um, we've got them to the stage where they're prepared to replace the trees. Actually, we now need to get to the stage where the trees don't need to be taken down in the first place. Uh, I think the strength of feeling in Hereford City is, uh, is far outweighs um, uh, any kind of improvement that this road might uh, get. I agree, we might need to do some improvements to the road, but not at the cost of these trees. Find a little bit more money, make sure the trees survive. It can be done. I think it's about time we said stop it. Stop ripping up trees to improve roads without making sure that you can keep the trees in the first place. Um, it can be done and it should be done. Hi, my name's Liz Chave. I represent Three Elms Ward. Little known fact, the local councillors were never consulted about this pinch point project, which has what's, is what has put these 14 trees under threat of being cut down. A lot of people have just said tonight that they don't feel there's been much consultation. Have you had much information? But there hasn't been very much information about it. It came, the, the consultation such as there was came about because the road is actually a conservation area, so it came through as a planning application. The highways agency apparently own the land that the roads are on and this central bit in the middle and can do what they like. I think they're finding that the local people are fighting back. Hereford Council are working with the highways agency, they've given us a statement saying that and they feel that it's needed an extra lane to go left. Do you agree? I can't see how it's going to work myself and I'd far rather keep the trees here because we actually need trees in the city. It's an air quality monitoring, monitoring area. The air quality here is awful. That's because of the traffic. The traffic, a lot of the traffic is actually internal to the city. So it's doing short journeys, the engines aren't warmed up, they're not working efficiently. So you've got all of those sorts of problems contributing to it. Building more roads doesn't kind of make people think, oh, I know I'll walk today. That's the problem I've got with it. Here's my hive of bees that live here on Edgar Street. Um, just really a few stones throws away to the lime trees and uh, the lime trees are in full blossom still and um, the bees are foraging there and uh, I think they really love those lime flowers. I think it's going to be a really good honey year this year. It's been so warm. Quite pleased after last year. There wasn't very much honey about, there's lots of rain, so it's quite exciting really.